我们敬礼传承祖师，敬礼了民和尚，敬礼沙迦正空上师，敬礼十六世大宝法王，卡玛巴，敬礼图登达尔吉上师，我们敬礼。坛城三宝，敬礼今天的父母祖尊，大愿地藏王菩萨，师母，丹增嘎措，图登西地，各位上师、教授师、法师、讲师。助教、堂主，各位同门，还有网络上的同门，大家午安，大家好。你好，大家好。愛してる。愛してる。シャラゲ。ほらみこ。ケケロモチョ。すごい。一番。気持ちいい。ジュミ。ヤピ。プリンプリン。こんにちは。那现在先通知大家，下一个礼拜天。I would like to announce for next Sunday. 十一日。For April eleventh. 下午三点 p.m. At Sunday three p.m. 那么在彩虹雷藏寺。At the Rainbow Temple. 十。I will preside over Medicine Buddha Homa Fire Offering Ceremony. This deity is in the eastern lapis lazuli realm. The Bai Saya Guru Medicine Tathagata. And his mantra is slightly long. And his mudra we can say is radiating light. Mudra, the five fingers radiating rays of lights, and his body is blue. Blue body. And many people said that medicine Tathagata is and the Akshoba Buddha or Immovable Buddha are the same Buddha with two names, with different names, which is the Akshoba Buddha of the five Dhyani Buddhas. So this deity is also very important because medicine Buddha so he's able to perform healing. And I would like to also announce for Rainbow Temple, Twin Lotus Columbarium, on April 5th, which is tomorrow, Monday, 2 p.m., there will be a longevity sutra chanting. So that's the red 
and also the white sutra chanting. At the Twin Lotus Columbarium, April 5th, Monday at 2 p.m., the red sutra chanting. You can register. You can register for the red sutra chanting. And also, please register for the Madison Tadakata Homa on Sunday. Generally speaking, uh, for longevity, we have Madison Tadakata as the main deity, and for the deliverance uh, ritual or sutra chanting, that the main deity is Amitabha Buddha. So the red sutra chanting is for longevity. Now the Twin Lotus Columbaria has many events. So if you live there, you will not be lonely. A lot of activities. There are ceremonies and sutra chanting every week. Uh, for the deliverance or for longevity, there's white sutra chanting and red sutra chanting. And also repentances. So living there, you would have lots to eat. <laughs> That's good. Generally speaking, for Columbarium, it's very quiet, very lonely, very lonesome. No sound, very quiet. But the Twin Lotus Columbarium at the Rainbow Temple is very uh, merry. You would be high. Lots of people come and go. That's very good. And the geomancy is the best kind. Uh, I consulted. It's a seashell, seashell geomancy ship. So, an open seashell, a little bit like a, a bowl, a concave. So, it's slightly uh, indented. So, the chi is collected right there. A very good geomancy. Today, Master Li Yin uh, celebrated the Resurrection Day or Easter <laughs> for four days and three nights. She, he did not eat anything. At the UW Hospital, at the UW Hospital, he was sleeping, and ten doctors, a team of about ten doctors, said that he could just sleep away after looking at the scan, the image of his brain. He had the brain cancer, quite full, full of cancer. In the past, it was small, and after seven years, it became quite big. They said that he could just pass away in his sleep based on the about 10 experts 
And so he slept for four days and three nights. And he woke up and ate a big plate of food. This 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 Send a text that he is in a dying state, and all the disciples <laughs> wish him a good trip. Didn't <laughs> see that. I said sleeping. He was like like dying, right? It's all. It's, it's about to go. So on the internet, everybody <laughs> wrote a verse <laughs> for Master Lian Yin. And primarily, it's to wish him a good trip. <laughs> and little did we know that he's still seated here. And it just happened that it's Easter today, the Resurrection Day. The Lian of the past has gone, has have had a good trip. And the, the current Lian Yin is resurrected, and I hope he is healthy. That all the doctors and the nurses were very surprised. When he got to the hospital, he had headache and dizzy and vomited and red eye and uh, could not speak clearly, he was like tongue-tight. So it's been pressing on the nerves and he could not walk. It was quite severe. Now everything has gone back to normal. Same as Lian Guang. He had uh, pancreatic cancer. Also cancer for him. And the doctor told him that you only have three months. Oh, three weeks. Not more than three weeks. Uh, asking the, his wife to uh, prepare the, for the funeral. So three weeks. And now he walked to the doctor's office and the doctor said, I don't know what's going on that he's still alive and his cancer stop uh, stop moving stop moving <laughs> so it stopped so that means he's recovered if the cancer is moving about, then you have no more life, so you should stop the movement. So now, he's like a healthy person. Everything is healthy, nothing. No more septums. Yeah, please be seated. Uh, you want to say a few words too? Amitabha. Amitabha. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. 
They were all celebrating the Resurrection Day no. and not for Grandmaster. <laughs> it's not Resurrection Day for Grandmaster. <laughs> I celebrate the Children's Day. <laughs> Lotus Child, Lotus Youth, of course we celebrate Children's Day. <laughs> we would never celebrate the Ancestors Festival or Tomb Sweeping Festival. At this age, what happened? I always feel that I'm only seven. <laughs> so Children's Day. So we pray to Siddhikarva Bodhisattva so that all the Bhattu spirits with affinity can be brought to the Pure Lands. Grandmaster is never fearful toward death. No fear toward death. Because the Buddha said, when there's life, there is death. When there is a prosperity, there would be a destruction. When there is vigor, there is decline, because I know where I will go. You have a, a warranty that you can be born in the pure land, that when you are alive, you are able to see the Yidam, so after your death, you will definitely see Yidam too. And if you are in union with the Yidam, then you would go to the Yidam's pure land, and you may even be able to transform to become the Yidam. So there should be no fear, no need to be fearful. If you are fearful, you would be dead long ago. Why? Because I have so many ghosts at my house. Many people don't know that in front of my bedroom's door there is a bonsai with bamboos and it's hollow bamboos as a bonsai at the door to my bedroom. And every time at night, after I perform protection for Simu and her room, and after she fell asleep, after she falls asleep, I would walk back to my bedroom, my own bedroom, passing by the bonsai, and in the hollow inside the bamboos, there are many ghosts and they would shout loudly together. <laughs> it's a really weird sound every time I pass by the bonsai. And I would tell them, shut up, quiet. You're living he here. You're staying here. Be quiet. Be good. It's like they're living in an apartment building. So in one section of the bamboo, there's one ghost, and there are many, many sections. There are many ghosts in there. And they're waiting for my bardu deliverance. So I bardu deliver them bit by bit. And some live in the fridge. And I ask them, why do you live in the fridge? Every time I pass by the fridge, they would make a sound. It's not the sound of the electricity or something. It's really a loud sound. 
And I asked them, why do you live in the fridge? And they said, because the temperature is very suitable for them. They love to live in the fridge. So all the food inside the fridge have been eaten by them. I hope that Siddhigaba Bodhisattva will guide all these ghosts. But the ghosts uh, living at my house were all, are all good ghosts. Good ghost. But the ghosts coming from San Francisco were vengeful, were evil. Hmm, what a coincidence, a joke about ghost. Before the Dharma teaching, I would like to sh tell a joke. The classmates, to a train their bravery, they went to the Mingxiong ghost uh, uh, haunted house in Jiayi. And after uh, traveling quite a bit, they didn't see any ghost. And then they just saw an elderly man sweeping the floor, the ground, and then asked him, did you ever see the ghost? And he replied, I've been here for 300 years. I have never seen any ghosts. <laughs> Now we will do the question and answer from Spain. Len Hua Cai Xia from Spain. In Spain, we have a chapter asked by Len Hua Cai Xia. I heard the chapter in Spain is extremely beautiful. Very nice. Amitofo. Homage to Grandmaster. A few days ago, I dreamt of my departed mother, father, who found a house for me. I told my father, I want to follow Grandmaster to go to Maha Twin Lotus Ponds. I don't want your house. My father said, then let your children live in that house. I'm very afraid, wondering if my children will encounter problems. Please help me resolve my concern. Why do I often dream of the deceased people? And I feel as if I am dead already. <laughs> but because of this physical body, I am alive. <laughs> what a coincidence also <laughs> about ghosts. <laughs> oh, I'll soon. First, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Why? Because life is the beginning of death. And death is the beginning of life. There's no need to be scared. If you have Buddha in your heart and mind, if you have the lineage root guru inside your heart and mind, if you have Yidam inside your heart or mind, if you have protector inside your heart or mind, then you have no fear. You're not dead now, but Death will be here one day, as for me too. 
But there's no need to be afraid of it because you can close your eyes and the yi dam will appear. And in the future, if when you close your eyes, the yi dam will also appear, the guru will appear, or your protector will also appear. So you merge into your yi dam, chant the yi dam's mantra, and enter into the yi dam's body, then you would go to the yi dam's pure land. There's no need to be afraid. You said you're very afraid. Afraid that the children will have problems. So today we talk about one thing. On Friday night, I bardo delivered those who died from the uh, train accident at Taruko in Taiwan. And many people died, and I bardo delivered them. So they were just riding on a train in Hualien, and many people would take that train. And normally, it's quite safe and no accidents. But little did we know, there was a, like an construction car a sliding down the and hit the train and the train got off the track so all the train cars were twisted and the people were twisted and quite a number of people died so it's a sudden event but you don't need to be afraid what your dad said, you can tell your dad, you want to follow Grandmaster to go to Maha Twin Lotus Ponds. No need to prepare a house for me. And let your children live there first. You can tell him too. My children will also follow Grandmaster. I don't want to live in your house either. You can tell them, tell him that too. And you can ask him in the future, if you dream of your dad again, where is your house? Yeah. If your dad, say, if your dad says, that his house is at the Maha Twin Lotus Ponds of Sukhawati, then that would be good, right? Just right. Then it's fine if you live there or your children live there. But you can tell him no need to hurry. Or you feel as if you're dead, but the physical body is still alive. <laughs> then you're like a, like a, 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 a zombie. No need to be like that. If you're alive, then you should, you should uh, move. You cannot be like a dead person. As a spiritual cultivator, we have to live a normal life. We have to be diligent in our spiritual cultivation practice. If you can't practice, it's fine. If you chant the Buddha's name or the Yidam's mantra or performing prostrations or practicing the four preliminary practices, don't be like a dead person. That's the answer. First, you need to know your father passed away. Help you find a house. But where is your father? If your father is in the pure land and he's 
preparing a house for you and your children, a place to stay, that's also good, that's also right. But no need to hurry. So that we don't have any accidents. So that calamities can be transformed into auspiciousness. You can chant often round heaven and square earth uh, for nine layers. The f my five organs be healthy, are normal, and I'm willing to enjoy peace and healthiness. And then you touch the heart. So may the five organs, like the gentleman, are healthy. And your body is healthy, no pain and no ailments. Then you live not like a dead person, but like a live person. So this is what I like to tell Lian Hua Cai Xia from Spain. But you should not be afraid of death either. So every time when you do the merit dedication of the chanting Buddha's name, dedicate the merit so that you're healthy, all wishes fulfill, calamity is transformed into auspiciousness and strong spiritual commitment, which I often do so that calamities transform into auspiciousness. So when you encounter bad lucks, you evade them. You and your children should do that often. Do merit dedication for good health, all wishes fulfilled, calamities transform into auspiciousness and strong spiritual commitment. So that's what I like to tell Lian Hua Cai Xia from Spain. Second question by Lian Hua Zhu Ting from Malaysia. Kai Master, peace with you and health to you. I have this question on my mind. Please advise this dumb disciple of yours. I have taken refuge for five years. At the beginning, I just chanted the Root Guru Mantra, Hiking Kuan Yin Sutra, etc. Only in 2017, I started to practice the four preliminary practices. After practicing for three months, something happened that made me very confused. The worst part was that I continuously had nightmares. I often dreamt of dark places, seeing ghosts and other spirits, apocalypse, Armageddon, natural and man-made disasters, and they made me really uneasy. After practicing for three months, for a long time, I did not practice anymore. Recently, I set up an altar at home, so I tried to practice the four preliminary practice again, and the nightmares got even worse. Except this time, in the dream, I saw a kalanata, so I wasn't terribly horrified. I would like to ask Grandmaster why the nightmares keep occurring? Is there a way to make it better? Also, when I practice the four preliminary practices, my hands would shake, my lips would move by themselves as if I was speaking, and sometimes there are spasms on my face. None of this will happen if I don't practice the four preliminary practices. What is going on? Although I have many nightmares, I also dream of Grandmaster several times. I also dream of bright dreams. It's just that there are lots of weird and strange nightmares. This question, someone already asked before, but I did not answer publicly then. Once you start your Dharma practice, they have bad dreams. 
，其实你这个梦境呢、啊、，actually， 也不一定是 your dreams， 也不一定是不好的 ，are not necessarily bad dreams because。You have not encountered anything bad happening, just your dreams. Like us nowadays, about the natural disasters and calamities on Earth, there are so many. In 2020 and 2021, there were so many. Just the epidemic, the pandemic of COVID nineteen. It still continues until now. Everyone is still wearing mask. Very scary. In the past, when you see a friend, you are very happy. But now. On TV, when the officials see each other, they do this. Just like bum. In the past, when you see a girl, you would hug. Now, man and woman see each other. Our friends seeing each other. Usually, they would hug each other. And now, can you? Everybody is covered. Even in the daytime, there are nightmares. And moreover, at night. But you also have bright dreams. And you dream of Grandmaster several times, and you saw Akalanata. Those are all wonderful. And Akalanata help you avert the calamities. If you can often dream of Akalanata, that's incredible. When he comes out, he's very ferocious, and he's holding the precious sword. He's a very ferocious Vidya Raja, an emanation of Vairokana Buddha. The greatest Vidya Raja is Akalanata. If you see Akalanata, you will have no calamities at all. So those nightmares were nothing. Sometimes it's your karmic retribution from your past lives, and when you're about to eradicate karma, they would appear first. So when the karma from your past lives are about to be eradicated, many bad dreams can occur. But if you continue your practice. Then the bad dreams will become auspicious dreams. The bad dreams will become less and less the more you practice, and the auspicious dreams will increase. So sometimes when you start your dharma practice, you would also encounter tests and temptations. Of course, it's not good to have nightmares, but. The fact that Akalanata appeared, Grand Master appeared, and you also had bright dreams, then that's fine. That means your bad dreams will gradually decrease, and the good dreams will gradually increase. It's fine. Just continue your four preliminary practices. Only one thing: when you practice the four preliminary practices, your hands are shaking, and your lips are like as if you're talking, and spasm on your face. That's fine. It happens to Grandmaster too. It happens. 
When I practice, it happens to me too. Like when a yi dam descends on my body, this would happen. We are invoking Siddhigabha Bodhisattva into, to enter into Kremasa's body. Namo Siddhigabha Bodhisattva. Namo Siddhigabha Bodhisattva. There's some change on Grandmaster's face when he descends, entering into Grandmaster's body. The face also changes a little bit. If it does not affect spasm on the face, or the hands shaking a little bit, or the lips moving as if speaking. As long as you don't scare your family members, it's fine. It's no big deal. It's just the signs of the qi movement that the spiritual energy of Siddhikarva Bodhisattva descends upon your body. It happens to Grandmaster too. When Grandmaster visualizes the chi on the hand, it happens too. But most importantly, it's good that you didn't say that ghosts depend, descend upon you. If it's bad things descending upon you, then that's no good. So let me tell Lian Hua Zhu Ting a method. Since you have seen Akalanata in your dream, then you can visualize Akalanata as your protector. Just be mindful of Akalanata frequently. Ghosts are scared of Akalanata the most. All those bad spirits are afraid of Akalanata the most. Before you sleep, chant Akalanata mantra and form Akalanata mudra. Do your own protection and you would have good dreams. That's my answer to question asked by Lianhua Zhu Ting from Malaysia. Third question from Canada, Lianhua Hui Lian. Ling Xian Fundamental Repentance Dharma Practice. Precious Grandmaster, Health for you be with you. At the Rainbow Temple website, I saw Ling Xian Fundamental Repentance Dharma Practice. Could you please show us the mudra? The mudra, the left hand is in a fist placed at the waist. And the right hand is an open palm with five fingers extended. Does the empowerment for the four preliminary practices include this fundamental repentance practice? If not, may I receive the empowerment remotely? Due to the pandemic, I won't be able to come in person. Question by Lian Hua Huilian from Canada. This is from Ling Xian Vajra, Great Dharma Practice, book number 49. On the Ling Xian precepts, 
to practice the dependence practice, there are five key points invoking the Buddhas to confirm. We need to invoke the Infinite Life Buddha, Victorious Life Buddha, Marvelous Light Buddha, Akshoba Buddha, Meritorious Good Light Buddha, Son of Teacher Radiant Buddha, Sunlight Radiant Buddha, Net Radiant Buddha, Precious Form Buddha, Blazing Radiant Buddha, Vigorously Blazing Radiant Buddha, Auspicious Superior King Buddha, Magnificent Sound Buddha, Marvelously Majestic Buddha, Dharma Banner Buddha, Superior Victorious Body Buddha, Enduring Physical Body Buddha, Clear Light Omnipresent Buddha, Brahma Pure King Buddha, Superior Nature Buddha. This is to invoke three Buddhas of the West, five Buddhas of the East, five Buddhas of the South, and eight Buddhas of the North. These 21 Buddhas are all invoked together and visualize them to abide in the sky as witnesses to your repentance. Second, radiating light to eradicate hindrances. The magnificent power of the 21 Buddhas can allow the sinner to lessen his or her karmic retribution and obtain merits. This is the true merits of the 21 Buddhas. In contemplation, the practitioner is mindful of the 21 Buddhas to abide in the space. Each of the Buddhas radiating immeasurable light radiance from their skin pores in thousands of different colors. First radiated from their skin pores and then radiating great radiance. The two are interlaced to become boundless colors. With this rays, all the worlds of the ten directions become Buddha lands and oneself also abides amid the radiant world. All the five contaminants are showered by the Buddha's light. This universal radiance of the 21 Buddhas, first, shining upon a filthy world, it will become a Buddha land. Second, shining upon all sentient beings will make sentient beings ten evil dharma, the five atrocious deeds, defamation of the three jewels, disrespect towards one's guru, unfilial piety towards one's parents, would let one fall into hell's hungry ghosts and animal realms. Yet, due to the radiance of the 25, 21 Buddhas, one is liberated from them. And third, shining upon oneself to eradicate one's own karma. Because one receives the power of blessings of the Buddhas, one attains peace and joy, righteousness, endowed with good fortune and wisdom, as magnificent as the Buddhas, and able to see the Buddhas of the three times in the ten directions. The karma eradication mantra of the seven Buddhas calling upon the epithets and chanting mantras. Third, if the practitioner sees light, one should wholeheartedly chant the names of the 21 Buddhas three times and the karma eradication mantra of the seven Buddhas 108 to 1080 times. Fourth, visualization and mudra. The left hand is a fist at the wrist. The right hand is an open palm with five fingers extended, like five rays of five color light beaming naturally, placed at the chest. Fifth, merit dedication and repentance. All of one's karmic retributions from all past lives, which should make one fall into the evil path, health, animals, hungry ghosts, or azura realms, even the eight difficult places, because of my practicing the correct dharma repentance, all the karmic retributions are purged, and one will not experience the future bad retributions either. Also, like the past great bodhisattvas in the cultivation of the body work, they repent all their karma. And I also have repented all my karma coming deep from my heart, not daring to repeat. I pray that all my current karma is completely eradicated, and I vow not to do evils in the future. I especially invoke the 21 Buddhas to witness. The practitioner of this Dharma practice and the true Buddha fundamental repentance practice will also obtain blessings of the four preliminary practices and the Good Guru Yoga. All should follow the procedures accordingly. Then one can be freed from their karmic retributions and attains infinite good fortune. There are five key points. This is a repentance. And she asks 
about the mudra. So, the fist, the left hand in the fist, at the waist, and at the heart, five fingers extended, like five rays of five color light. This is the mudra. She primarily asked about the mudra. And she also asked, can the empowerment be done remotely? Yes. This is for the repentance practice. This has been, it's a book from a long time ago, book number 49. So you have 21 Buddhas, you invoke 21 Buddhas as your witness. So as by Lianhua Huilian from Canada. This is a joke. A good friend come to my house for dinner and she eats very little and I find it strange. So I asked, why don't you eat more? And my best friend said, every time I want to lose weight, I cannot control my mouth. So I come to eat at your house. Because your cooking is after the first mouthful, yeah, I wouldn't want to eat another one. It must be really bad. So in order to lose weight, she goes to her best friend's place to eat. And the second joke, the husband was waiting for his wife in front of a clothing store and got really impatient. So he told a beautiful lady, can you talk to me for a little bit? And the beautiful lady asked, why? And the gentleman said, because my wife's been inside the store for over an hour, but if she sees that I'm talking to you, then she would immediately come out. And before he finishes, the husband <laughs> and the wife already got out of the store and then and then uh, uh, latch his arm and walk away. So it's a counterbalance. So we can say today is also a tomb sweeping festival. On the tomb sweeping festival or ancestors fetus festival, uh, a man uh, went to his dad's uh, tomb to and then there was a young lady who was crying in front of his dad's tomb. How could you leave me alone? This is really, how could you do that? So he was very curious, like, who are you uh, praying to? My husband, my dis departed husband. And this, this gentleman asked, so what's the name of your husband? And then when she looked at the name, in grief at the tomb, like, oh, it's the wrong tomb. <laughs> so the man said, oh, oh, good thing. I thought it was that my dad had the mistress when he was alive. <laughs> Jokes about the ancestors' festival. Now we will expound Lam Day. The verse in quotes, seeing the eight characters 
outward at the naval area, end quote, refers to the sighting of the eight characters on the eight channel paddles. Inside the inner circle of the navel chakra, Aka, Tata, Tapa, Asha, and seeing the vowels and consonants, Ali, Kali, of the outer circle, 50 characters as the secret start of affinity. In the outer environment, as in the verse, in quotes, the 12 divisional instructions of the sutras are unhindered. End quote. Once natural speech becomes supreme dharma, it is called, in quotes, at the time of becoming the great self-mastery of speech. End quote. One is able to speak all kinds of sayings, referred as the moment of awakening sayings. When whatever one says can be accomplished, the so-called the moment of complete achievement of the victorious words referred as the moment of attaining self-mastery upon understanding the four non-hindrances. The verse, in quotes, can perceive the five ambrosias and six tastes, end quote. When the pure ambrosia descends and flows and solidifies at the throat chakra, it can allow one to experience the six tastes of the outer world. The words, in quotes, becoming the Sanskrit sounds, etc., end quote, referring to the quintessential A character, which rises in the central channel to the throat chakra, as the secret start of affinity in the outer environment allowing one to please one's own hearing and 60 and 16 marvelous sounds both far and near. So, uh, Bodhisattva hood above six ground here it talk first talk about the navel chakra. The mantra syllables. It talk about many mantra syllables or mantra characters in Lamde. Many mantra syllables are mentioned in Lamde. The Sanskrit mantra is a kind of Dharma Mandala. We call it the Dharma Mandala. Like Majasattva's 100 syllable mantra, they would play the video clip when we chant. So they rotate uh, the mantra syllables of the 100 syllable mantra revolving. It's the same concept. The three-step Dharmakaya emergence, first you visualize the sun disk and moon disk, and then at the sentence, the, at the center, there's a sit syllable of the yidam, and the sit syllable revolves, and then the yidam appears. So for the three-step Dharmakaya emergence, first the sun disk, moon disk, and then sit syllable, and the sit syllable revolving, and the yidam appears. So from the syllable, the yidam appears. Or Rudguru, yidam, protector, or all deities appear this way. From the sit syllable. So if the sit syllable or mantra syllables is at the navel chakra, they symbolize the channel petals. So bodhisattvas above the sixth ground would have dharma power, would generate dharma power. Fifty characters as the secret start of affinity, or the eight character 
or its syllables on the outer circle. Then it's called the the moment of awakening saying at the time becoming the great self mastery of speech. You know, frankly speaking, in Grandmaster's exposition of Lam Day, I never prepared beforehand. I just explained as I read it. It's not that I would uh, read the book before the Lamdi teaching the next day and how should I explain it? No, it's not like that. Simu knows. For my Dharma teaching, I never prepare or practice it beforehand. No rehearsals. It's all life. I just say whatever. So that's called unhindered dharma. And you can just pick it up and understand immediately. Uh, so at the time becoming the great self-mastery of speech. So whatever you say is dharma. Then everyone, anyone that hears it, it's like empowered. Like for questions and answers, you don't need to show me the questions that people ask. But as soon as I see, when I read it, then I can answer. That means the speech is great. This is the great self-mastery of great speech. And you can t talk immediately. Once you open the navel chakra, or actually throat chakra, I think, so it talks about both navel and throat chakras here. If you have reached a certain realm in your spiritual cultivation, and you have some experience, personal experience, then when you read it, you immediately would be able to explain it. It's never happened that, oh, I don't know how to explain it. Let me go home and research and check and then give the answer or explain later. That would not be good. At least your navel chakra has opened, your throat chakra has opened. Then the moment of complete achievement of the victorious words. So whatever dharma that you speak is the best. And people listening would understand immediately. So great self-mastery of speech, unhindered. Uh, so the understanding of the four non-hindrances, so the four kinds of non-hindrances, the non-hindrances. So you're able to give Dharma teaching and you understand them. And you can understand and also uh, debate on it. It will happen once you open your throat chakra. And here it also written then can perceive the five ambrosias and the six taste. Once you open your throat chakra, you can perceive or uh, enjoy the five ambrosias and six taste. And you can also 
chant the Sanskrit sounds referring to the quintessential R character which rises in the central channel to the throat chakra. For bodhisattvas above the sixth ground would be able to do this. And you can please your own hearing as well as others. When you give Dharma teaching, you would feel very pleased hearing and bodhisattvas above six ground would have such abilities and there are 60 and 16 marvelous sounds so one speaks on the Dharma like the sound of the Brahma heaven which is in the verse becoming the Sanskrit sounds let me continue reading the verse in quotes. Ah, and the so-called ladders, etc., as the six disclosures and quote. As the illusory net tantra stated, Ah is the foremost of all ladders. Li Hong character is supreme, from other life to no life, to stop all spoken words as saying all victories to utmostly show all works. It tries to explain the Ah character. Ah, which is one. Om is zero. And Hom is many. From zero, that gives birth to, gives rise to Ah, and from A, ah, it gives rise to home. And home is many. Many explanations for A ah character or syllable. In a start of affinity, this is the instruction of all the arising in a start of affinities and the inner secret navel, heart, throat, brow, all five chakras one of which complemented with two grounds, as I have explained before. One chakra, two grounds, to open the 28 knots of the central channel. And the aerial pure ambrosia is generated due to the power of solidity and immovability. This is the meaning. Although the others are below the sixth ground, which appear as the sixth ornamentation of the transformation body, they are interconnected with the sixth ornamentation of the Sambhogakaya. Know that it is to show the dispositional nature of the six paths. And the six paths are the heavens, human, azura, hells, hungry goose, and animal. So, to show the dispositional nature of the six paths. And there are six ornamentations of the Sambhogakaya, from the crown on the head, the necklaces, earrings, uh, layers of celestial garments, uh, bracelets, anklets. So, six ornaments to beautify oneself. Like for Mahabala, he also has them. The crown, his necklaces, uh, bracelets, anklets, those are all his ornaments or ornamentation. The six ornaments. And the transformation body has six ornaments and the Sambhogakaya also has six ornaments. to show the dispositional nature of the six paths. And the most important one is the secret chakra, navel chakra, heart chakra, throat chakra, and brow chakra. And each chakra complemented with two grounds, so for a total of ten grounds. And if you open three chakras, you would reach six grounds. And the seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth, these four chakras can reach this realm. 
like for once you open the throat chakra, then you would uh, give Dharma teaching unhindered, and you would be able to enjoy the five ambrosias and six taste of five nectars and six taste. Sometimes in meditation, you would be able to eat celestial food, not food, not earthly food. It's a very marvelous thing. And rare. You can give Dhamma teaching unhindered, you can de debate unhindered, and you comprehend the meanings without any hindrance, and you can understand all the sayings and terms, otherwise slumde. Many people say they understand the words that they, they don't understand the meanings. They are not clear. They don't. But you can only understand after the Grandmaster explains. Otherwise, just by reading it, frankly speaking, if I have not practiced it myself, or if I don't know, I would have thrown the slumdi book to the toilet, really. <laughs> He's translating the Sanskrit lamdi into Chinese, but the choice of words were really disconnected. It's very uh, it's very difficult to understand. There are many uh, doctors or PhDs. We have the scholars group of Jupiter School, and they said they have read the book, but they understood each of the word, but not the phrases or the understanding of it. It's so profound. It was. I was so unlucky to have to expound on it. Nobody expound on Lamde. Is there Chinese that expound Lamde? Nobody, because you don't understand even reading it. Oh, jeez, who chose this book? So the A character is the foremost of all letters, all Sanskrit letters. So A of Amitabha. So it's the most precious of all Sanskrit characters is A. It's a very supreme from ad life to no life. So from A to Om, and Om is no life. To stop all spoken words and languages and it is the most meaningful to show all works or phrases it is the most meaningful and it can also show all the Sanskrit letters they all come from the A ah character if you don't know, there's no way you can explain it.
Uh, my schoolmate's wife went shopping and the lingerie shop recommended a red uh, like an undergarment that covered the chest and the abdomen. So she wore it and uh, lowered the light and she wanted to surprise her husband. When her husband opened the door and saw his wife, he was shocked and immediately shocked and kneeled and said, Oh, your disciples, I did not know that your highness descended. God, what do you have to command me? Because in Taiwan, the medium in Taiwan, when the third prince descended, they would wear this red undergarment. So the husband thought that maybe the wife was uh, attached by the third prince spirit. Uh, Xiaoming, for the Ancestors Federal, went to the shop that sells uh, items for burning to the disease. And he saw iPhone 12 made of papers, and he asked, if he burn this iPhone during the this festival, my ancestors will not be able to use it. And then the shop owner said, don't worry, Steve Jobs is there uh, teaching it. So why are you so worried? But when you burn the iPhone 12 at the cemetery, don't forget to burn the charger too. Otherwise, they might come back and ask for it. And asking is a small matter, but if they ask that you deliver it yourself, that would be pr troublesome. So that's a joke about the Ancestors Festival. That's all for today. Omani Benihong.